carry over additions sums using groups of tens friends in this video we will learn to add numbers that are in groups of tens using the carry over method hey choo choo you are looking very happy today yes that's because i am going to the zoo can i also come along yes sure Let's get a bus ticket from there to go to the zoo. Yes, let's go. Please give us two tickets to the zoo. You are older, so your ticket will be 48 rupees and for this child the ticket will be for 24 rupees. So Chuchu, how many rupees do we have to pay in total? For this, we have to add twenty-four to forty-eight. How do we do that? Forty-eight. That is four tens and eight ones. Similarly, twenty-four means two tens and four ones. Now, to add both these numbers, we have to place them in the tens and ones boxes. First, let's add the numbers in the ones place. We have to add eight ones to four ones. So count after eight: nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. This means eight ones and four ones add up to twelve ones. Yes. So from twelve ones, we will write two in the ones box and carry over one tens in the tens box. Now, when we add one and four, we get five, and adding five and two, we get seven. Now, seven tens added to two ones makes seventy-two. So we have to pay seventy-two rupees. Please take seventy-two rupees. Take your ticket. Let us go and sit in the bus. I am enjoying the bus ride. Hmm. Let's go, Chichi. We have reached the zoo. Do we have to buy a ticket here also? Yes. Bhaiya, please give us two tickets. Your ticket will cost fifty-six rupees, and the younger child's ticket will cost twenty-eight rupees. Chichi, now tell me how much money do we have to pay in total? Fifty-six, that is five tens and six ones, and twenty-eight, that is two tens and eight ones. Well done, and then. First of all, we will add the numbers in the ones place. Six ones added to eight ones will equal fourteen. This means six ones and eight ones added together will equal fourteen ones. And out of fourteen ones, we can form a group of one tens. So fourteen has one tens and four ones. Now we have to write four in the ones box. And we have to carry over one tens in the tens box. Now adding one and five will make six, and six added to two will make eight. Now eight tens and four ones, which means we have to give eighty-four rupees. Perfect answer. Please take eighty-four rupees. Take your ticket. Let's go. Inside. Yes. Oh, this place looks like a lot of fun. Yes, this is truly an enjoyable place.
young friends through this video we learn to add numbers by making groups of tens using the carry over method now in the next video we will see examples of adding of two digit numbers with the carry over method children in this video we will see some interesting examples of adding numbers using the carry over method with the help of groups of tens we had great fun in the zoo yesterday and we learned a lot as well yes give me some more examples to practice look here are two abacus with the help of the abacus beads try to identify the numbers and add them in the first abacus in the tens box there are seven beads this makes it seven tens that is 70 and in ones box there are four beads which makes it four ones that is four Now to add four to seventy, count after seventy: seventy one, seventy two, seventy three, and seventy four. Well done. And in the second abacus, in the tens box, there is one bead. This makes it one tens. In the ones box, there are seven beads. That is seven ones. So adding one tens and seven makes seventeen. Now we have to add seventy four and seventeen. But before that, we have to write both the numbers in the ones tens boxes. Yes, after writing both the numbers in this way, in the ones tens boxes, adding four and seven in ones box makes eleven. Eleven means one tens and one ones. We have to write one ones in the ones box and carry over one tens. Now we have to add the numbers in the tens box to the carry over number. Adding seven to the carry over number one will equal eight, and adding one to eight will equal nine. So we have to write nine in the tens box. Seventy four added to seventeen will give us a total of ninety one. Yes. While adding, we have to first add the numbers in the ones box. and then we have to add the numbers in the tens box along with the carry over number yes let's go now children i hope you were able to identify the abacus numbers as well as learn how to add two digit numbers using the carry over method in the next video We will learn some interesting facts about adding two digit numbers with the carry over method. Children, today in this video Through Chi Chi and Chu Chu's conversation, we will understand some interesting facts related to making groups of tens and adding these numbers using the carryover method. Hey Chi Chi, help me count these coins. Yes, sure, Chu Chu. In this pile of coins, there are one, two, three. and four coins of 10 rupees which is 40 rupees and three coins of 2 rupees that is 6 rupees so 40 and 6 there are 46 rupees 
In this pile of coins there are 1, 2 and 3 coins of 10 rupees which is 30 rupees. And 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 1 rupee coins. So there are 30 and 5 35 rupees. So what is the total amount in both the piles of coins? To find that out, we have to write both the numbers in the 1s and 10s boxes. To add 5 to 6 in the 1s box, count after 6. That is 7, 8, 9, 10 and we will get 11. Well done! So 11 means 1 tens and 1 ones. We will write 1 ones in the 1s box and carry over 1 tens and write it this way in the tens box. Well done. Now in the box of tens, adding 4 and 3 will make 7. Hey, Chi Chi, you did not count the carry over written in the tens box. Oh ho, I made a mistake. Adding the carryover 1 in the tens box to 4 makes 5. And adding 5 and 3 makes 8. Now you counted right. The total amount is 81. Very good, Chi Chi. But now while doing addition, don't forget to count the carryover number as well. I will definitely remember. You also please remember this. Children, in this video, we learned how to correct the mistakes that we make while adding. In the next video, we will learn subtraction through borrowing of groups of tens. Subtracting the given numbers in group of tens with the help of borrowing. Friends, today in this video, we will learn subtraction by borrowing using groups of tens with the help of conversation between Chi Chi and Chu Chu. Oh, Chu Chu. When are you coming? Yeah, I have come. Oh, your house is very beautiful. Thank you, Chuchu. Would you like to eat chocolate? Mmm, um, yummy. We ate 18 chocolates out of 52. So now how many chocolates are left? I don't know. Chichi, let's do... Subtraction after writing 52 and 18 in the box of 1s and 10s. Yes, let's do it. You had 52 chocolates, which means 5 10s and 2 1s chocolates. We ate 18, means 1 10 and 8 1s chocolates of them. So, here we have to perform 52 minus 18. So first of all, we will perform subtraction of the numbers in the box of 1s. But here 2 is smaller number compared to 8. So how can we subtract big number from a small number? We cannot subtract a big number from a smaller number. So here we will borrow 1 tens from the number 5 of the box of 10s. It means the number in the place of 1s can borrow from its neighbor number in the box of 10s. Right? Yes. So, you are borrowing 1 10 from the 5 10s in the place of 10s means subtracting 1 10 from 5 10s which makes it 4 10s. Oh! So here 110 will be less in the place of tens. 
absolutely right. Now in the box of ones, it will be one borrowed tens equal to ten ones. Now it will be two ones plus ten ones, meaning twelve ones in the box of ones. Now if we subtract eight ones from twelve ones, we will have one, two, three, and four left. Yes, so we will write four in the place of ones. Now we have to subtract the numbers of the tens place. If we subtract one ten from four tens, we will get three tens. So we will write three in the place of tens. So this way, after eating eighteen chocolates from fifty-two chocolates, we would have thirty-four chocolates left. Now, if we will eat fifteen more chocolates out of the thirty-four chocolates. Then how many chocolates would we have left with? How many would be left if we will subtract fifteen from thirty-four? Let's count it. Thirty-four means three ten and four ones. Fifteen means one tens and five ones. We cannot subtract five from four in the box of ones. So we will borrow one tens from three tens from the box of tens. So if we subtract one ten from three tens of box of tens, then we would have two tens. We will write two at the top of the box of tens. Now we will have one borrowed ten means ten ones plus four ones equal to fourteen ones in the box of ones. Now if we subtract five ones from fourteen ones, we would have nine ones left. So we will write nine in the place of ones. Now, if we subtract one ten from two tens in the place of tens, then we will have one ten left. So we will write one in the box of tens. So this way, if we eat fifteen chocolates from thirty-four chocolate, then we would have nineteen chocolates left. Chuchu, would you eat more chocolates? Oh no! Now if I will eat more chocolates, then my teeth will get cavities. Yes, you are right. Chichi, let us make a bouquet with these roses. Yes, let's do it. Children, in this video, you have learned subtracting the given numbers in groups of tens with the help of borrowing. In the next video, we will see how Chichi and Choo Choo use borrowing for subtractions while making a bouquet of flowers. Children, you have learned how to subtract. two digit numbers with borrowing in the previous video in this video we will see some examples to perform subtraction with borrowing listening to the conversation between chichi and chuchu chichi let's decorate the house by making a bouquet of this 34 roses yes let's make it I will make a bouquet of seventeen flowers, and you make a bouquet with the remaining flowers. Hmm. If you will make a bouquet with seventeen flowers of the thirty-four flowers, then how many flowers would be left for me to make a bouquet? Let's subtract seventeen from thirty-four. Yes. First of all, we will write these numbers. In the box of ones, tens, and then perform the subtraction. Hmm. But here we cannot subtract seven from four in the box of ones. So we will borrow one ten from three tens in the box of tens. Yes. So now we will write fourteen ones instead of four in the box of ones. And two tens instead of three tens in the box of tens. 
Now, first of all, if we will subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 from 14 in the place of 1's, then we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 left in the place of 1's. Now look here. If we subtract 110 from 2 tens, then we will have 110 in the box of tens. Yes. So this way, if I make a bouquet with 17 flowers from 34 flowers, then you too will have 17 flowers left to make a bouquet. Oh wow! We would have the same number of flowers. Now let's both make a bouquet like this by taking all our flowers together. Oh, look, these beautiful bouquets are ready. Let's put these in that flower vase. Wow, it looks beautiful. Okay, Chichi, now I have to go. Yes, see you. Children, I hope you have learned how to subtract two-digit numbers with borrowing a little better with the help of this video. In the next video, we will understand what mistake does Chi Chi make while performing subtraction with borrowing. Children, you have learned how to subtract two digit numbers with borrowing in the previous video. In this video, we will learn some interesting facts related to subtraction using borrowing with the help of the conversation between Chi Chi and Chu Chu. Oh, what is this? Chi Chi is counting her jellies again and again. I think she is having some difficulty in counting the jellies. Look, Chu Chu has come. He will definitely help Chi Chi. Let's see. Hello Chi Chi. Oh, what happened? Why are you so upset? Oh Chu Chu, I had 50 jellies with me. And from those, I gave 23 jellies to my friend Meaty. So I should have 37 jellies left with me. But there are only 27 jellies here. Chichi, you gave 23 jellies from your 50 jellies, right? Yes. So now tell me, how did you know that 50 minus 23 is equal to 37? Look here, I did 50 minus 23 with the help of the table of 1's, 10's. And I got 37 as the answer. Oh, Chichi, look here carefully. You borrowed 1 from 5 tenths of the box of tenths and wrote 10 ones in the place of ones. But you forgot to subtract 1 ten from 5 tenths in the box of tenths. Oh, yes, you are right, Chuchu. So here if we will subtract 1 ten from 5 tens in the box of tens, then it will be 4 tens. If we will subtract 2 tens from 4 tens, then we will be left with 2 tens. Yes, so this way, if we will subtract 23 jellies from 50 jellies, then you will be left with only 27 jellies. Yes, now I have understood it well. Thank you so much, Chu Chu. Look, Chi Chi, in subtraction, whenever we borrow 10 from a digit, we have to reduce that digit by a 10. Yes, Chu Chu, from now on, I will remember that. Did you see how easily Chu Chu solved Chi Chi's difficulty? So, Today we have learned some interesting facts related to subtraction of two-digit numbers with borrowing. 
In the next video, we will understand how both subtraction and addition are useful. Two-digit numbers using groups of 10 borrowing. Children, Bubbly has gone to the market with her mother today. So while visiting the market, we will use groups of 10s to learn subtraction of two-digit numbers with the help of borrowing. Mummy, look, we can get mangoes from there. Brother, how many mangoes are there in one box? There are ten mangoes in one box. I have three tens and four ones. Means thirty-four mangoes. How many mangoes do you want? I want eight mangoes. Mummy, the mango seller has only four loose mangoes. So, how will he give us eight mangoes? Come on, child. I will empty one box of ten mangoes in this basket. So, look, now there are ten and four. Fourteen mangoes in this basket. Bubbly, now tell me, if you will buy eight mangoes out of the fourteen mangoes, then total how many mangoes would the fruit seller be left with? Mummy, there are two boxes of ten mangoes each and there are one, two, three, four, five and six mangoes in the basket. So the fruit seller would have two tens and six ones means twenty-six mangoes left. Yes. So Bubbly, we subtracted eight mangoes from thirty-four mangoes. So now there are twenty-six mangoes. It means if we will subtract eight mangoes from thirty-four mangoes, we would have twenty-six mangoes left. Mummy, how is subtraction done? Come, I will explain. Look, to subtract 8 from 34, we will write 34 and 8 in the box of 1s and 10s. 34 means 3 tens and 4 ones. Now, we have 8 ones, so we will write it in the box of 1s. Its box of 10s will stay empty. Now, first of all, we will have to subtract 8 from 4 in the box of 1s. Yes, but here 4 is smaller than 8 in the box of 1s. So, how will we subtract 8 from 4? Hmm, we cannot subtract a big number from a small number. So, we will borrow 1 10 from the number of box of 10s. That means the number in the place of ones can borrow one ten from its neighbor, isn't it? Yes, absolutely right, Bubbly. Look, now we will write one ten and four ones, fourteen, in the box of ones. And we will write two tens instead of three tens in the box of tens. Yes. Now, if we will subtract 8 from 14 in the place of 1s, then it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 left. Yes. So, we will write 6 in the place of 1s. Now, we will have 2 tens in the place of 10s. So, we will have 2 tens only. So, the answer will be 26. Yes. So, this way, 34 minus 8 equal to 26 mangoes, right? You are absolutely right, Bubbly. Come on, let us now go to buy milk. Let's go. Brother, what is the price of one packet of milk? One packet is of 27 rupees. Take this, 50 rupees. Oh, mummy. Uncle told to give 27 rupees of milk. Then why are you giving him 50 rupees? Bubbly, uncle will subtract 27 rupees from 50 rupees and would give the rest of the money back. How many rupees would it be if we subtract 27 rupees from 50 rupees? Look, 50 means 5 tens and 27 means 2 tens and 7 ones. Now, 
let's do subtraction after writing them in the boxes of ones and tens first of all we will do subtraction of numbers in the box of ones hmm here we cannot subtract 7 from 0 in the box of ones so we will borrow 110 from its neighbor number 5 in the place of tens yes now we will write 10 ones in the place of 0 in the box of ones and we will write 4 tens instead of 5 tens in the box of tens now first of all if we subtract 7 ones from 10 ones in the place of ones then we will have 1 2 and 3 left now look Here if we subtract 2 tens from 4 tens in the box of tens we will get 2 tens in this way after subtracting 27 rupees from 50 rupees the milk seller uncle will return us 2 tens and 3 ones means 23 rupees well done bubbly let's go home now yes so friends today we learn subtraction of two digit numbers by borrowing using the group of tens in the next video we will understand some more examples of similar subtractions friends today in this video with the help of some more examples we will try to understand much better the subtraction of two digit numbers by borrowing using groups of tens look bubbly's mother also bought some chocolate sticks for bunty and bubbly while returning home from the market oh look it seems that bubbly is very happy on seeing the chocolate sticks oh wow chocolate sticks i will take 12 sticks bubbly there are a total of 21 chocolate sticks if you will take 12 sticks from a total of 21 sticks then how many sticks would bunty get So to know this we will have to minus from 2 tens and 1 one ones 12 which is 1 ten and 2 ones Yes so how many would 21 minus 12 be we will write these numbers in the boxes of 1 tens and then We will have to do the subtraction of the numbers in the box of ones. Yes, you are right. You will have to do the subtraction of the numbers in the box of ones. Hmm. But we cannot subtract two from one in the box of ones. So we will borrow one ten from two tens from the box of tens. Yes. Now we will write 11 ones instead of 1 in the box of ones and we will write 1 ten instead of 2 tens in the box of tens and now first of all if we will subtract 2 ones from 11 then we will be left with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 9 in the place of ones now look if we will subtract 1 ten from 1 ten in the box of tens then we will get zero yes 21 minus 12 is equal to 9 so bunty would have 9 chocolates in his share well done bubbly you gave the right answer You take your chocolate sticks and study. I will come to you shortly. Okay, mummy. Friends, today we learn how to subtract two-digit numbers using groups of tens borrowing 
with the help of an example. In the next video, we will learn how to subtract with the help of Bubbly's abacus without even writing. Today we will learn subtraction of two digit numbers by borrowing with the help of Bubbly's abacus. Oh wow Bubbly, you are studying with the help of abacus. Yes mummy. Look Bubbly, there are 40 biscuits in this plate. If I will fill this jar with 15 biscuits, then how many biscuits would remain in this plate? To know this, we would have to subtract or minus 15 biscuits from 40 biscuits. Yes, but can you solve these subtraction without writing just by borrowing with the help of this abacus? Subtracting by borrowing with the help of abacus. How can we do that? Come on, let me explain. We have to subtract 15 from 40. So if we put 4 beads in the box of 10s, then it will be 4 10s means 40. Now we have to subtract 1 tens and 5 ones from these. But there are no beads in the box of 1s. So how will we subtract 15 from 40? Bubbly, we know that 1 10 means 10 ones. So we will borrow 1 10 from 4 tens from the box of 10s. Yes. So, we will remove one bead from the box of tens. And we will put ten ones means ten beads in the box of ones. Now, to subtract fifteen from forty, first of all, from the box of ones, we will remove one, two, three, four, and five beads. So, one, two, three, four and five beads would remain. Now we will subtract in the box of tens. And if we remove one bead from three beads, then two beads would remain which means two tens. Yes, so now two beads would remain in the box of tens and five beads would remain in the box of ones. So it will be two tens plus 5 ones equal to 25. Yes, in this way if we will fill the jar with 15 biscuits, then 25 biscuits would remain in this plate. Well done Bubbly. You have subtracted without even writing. Yes mummy, you explained it to me very well. Friends, Today we learned subtraction of two digit numbers by borrowing without writing with the help of Bubbly's abacus. In the next video, we will learn to trace some of the things in our surroundings.